Hi, welcome to your Medication Minute. I'm Irma Gandayo, your Clinical Pharmacy Specialist in Internal Medicine, and today we'll be discussing the antibiotic ciprofloxacin. It's also called Cipro. Cipro is used to treat several different infections, including UTIs, pneumonias, bone joint infections, as well as a number of other indications. It's available IV or PO, and the dosing is dependent on the indication. But typically, it's dosed IV 400 milligrams every 12 hours, or PO 500 milligrams every 12 hours. For side effects, a common side effect is GI upset. But for the more serious side effects, that they're common to all fluoroquinolones, and it's a black box warning of tendinitis, tendon rupture, peripheral neuropathy, and CNS effects. Another serious side effect that can occur with Cipro is QT pro prolongation on EKGs and also C. diff associated diarrhea. If any of these adverse effects occur, it's important to reach out to the MD so the medication can be potentially held or discontinued. A fun fact about Cipro is that it does interact with cations of magnesium and also calcium. So if you're administering it with calcium-rich foods or antacids that contain magnesium, there is potential for decreased absorption of Cipro. So you want to separate the administration by at least two hours when you're giving those medications with Cipro or also calcium-rich foods. This can be an acute or chronic medication depending on the indication, but typically it's dosed every five for five to seven days for a duration. It only takes a minute to talk to your patients about their medications when you're giving them. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the pharmacy. And thank you for helping us be the medication stewards for our patients.